Hello everyone and welcome to the first monthly briefing of 2016. My name is Hayley Richards and I'm the Acting Chief Executive. I've been a consultant with the Trust since 2006 and I've worked in old age psychiatry with many teams around the Trust. I'm very proud of our Trust and I look forward to all the work that we'll do together in this coming year. Thank you for your questions. Many of them will be answered on our space. But the first question that m many people have asked is what are the transition arrangements for the Trust? What I can tell you is that we're on track to appoint a new Chief Executive, interviews are scheduled for February, and many of you have come forward to be involved in stakeholder groups as part of the recruitment. I have three messages for you this month, two good news updates and an update on our inspection from the CQC. I've always been convinced that reducing use of agency is good for our staff and good for our patients. And the great news is that the number of staff who have registered to work with us on our bank who don't already work with AWP has gone up by 10% over four months. Yeah. The really amazing news, and this is brilliant, is that those substantive staff who have registered to work with us on the bank as well has more than doubled in the same time. The result is there's been a 45% drop in the number of bank shifts that we've had to book through agency between August and December. This is terrific. Furthermore, we've had a trial of extended opening hours for our bank team and this pilot has saved us £30,000 over the last two months. We're going to make this a permanent arrangement so we'll be recruiting. Well done to everyone, especially our brilliant bank team. The second topic is the result of the inpatient CQC survey. We told you about the improved results from the community mental health survey last year and the initial results from our inpatient survey also show some good improvements. The survey was sent to patients who had care with us in the second half of last year. Our response rate of around 22% was very much in line with national results and although responses were received from a relatively small number of patients, around 112, the results are statistically significant. Some of our most improved scores are for service users who always feel safe on the ward, Service users who say we always give them the support and help they need in their home situation. Service users who have trust in and confidence in their nursing staff. And service users who rate their overall care with us as excellent or very good. There were some areas where our scores fell compared to last year and we will need to look at those closely. One area where we've done less well is for service users who would like to access talking therapies. Also, service users told us that there were still not enough activities on the ward in the evenings or at the weekends. Well done to everyone who's been working so hard to make the inpatient experience better for service users and families. This puts us in a very good position for our upcoming CQC inspection. The third topic for today is the CQC visit. Many of you will remember the last comprehensive inspection we had in June 2014 and the CQC have told us that they're coming again on May the 23rd 2016. This will be a full compliance inspection, not just a progress update, but the difference is that this time it will lead to a public rating. We all know the areas that they and we need to focus on. They include things like ligature risk, CPA, care records, medicines optimization, and the Quality Forum is doing work on this. The most important thing that we can do as an organisation is show consistent standards across our trust. It's also really important that we speak proudly of what we know we do really well and that we talk about what we're doing to improve. Thank you for joining me in this first monthly briefing. It's been great to bring you some good news about our achievements and I hope that like me you're positive about what we can achieve together over the coming year.